What's up, friends? Howdy how. <laughs> so we are going to paint Kenna's glasses in oil today. I went ahead and mixed up my colors. Oh, I'm also going to do her um, fingers, which you can't see her rings. So this is just Payne's Gray. I know it looks like black, but this is actually Payne's Gray. And this is titanium white. And then I went ahead and mixed up a few mid-tones. Um, this is probably about as dark as I'll get. There might be one low light that I'll kind of reach into there, but probably about as dark as I'll get. And then this is what I'll be doing most of my highlights on. I will only, only, only be using the white for the very most dots of like the brightest, brightest. So it might look like I'm doing white in some areas, but I'm actually saving that for the brightest highlights. So just thought I would mention those two things. And then I'll be using some uh, Gal Kid to kind of film, I mean, a uh, thin as I film, so. All right, friends, let's do this. I wish I could see the screen so I could ask you if you had any questions, but unfortunately, I can't from here, so I won't be able. I'll talk a little bit, but I'll mostly just paint. So if you're um, curious about like kind of the step by step, obviously you can see what I'm doing. I like to go in and find a, I mean, I honestly tend to move from left to right because I'm right handed and that's just how I like to paint. So that's sort of, I figure out whatever area I'm working on and then move from left to right. But when I'm picking my area, you know, I often try to find an edge, of course, but I want to bring in my low lights usually first. Sometimes I feel like it's a lot easier to go from dark to light than it is from light to dark. Um, now, I don't like to layer too much, but uh, I don't know, it's easier to... I don't know what people say, if it's easier to lighten or darken things. I feel like it uh, can be easier to lighten things because the white is so powerful. I think it's really hard to darken things sometimes because once you start adding dark to light, it makes it kind of uh, washed out a little bit. If that makes any sense. You know, it's hard for me to talk and paint and uh, actually make coherent sentences, so I might not be able to do that very much. Like, I know there was a, a good point in there, but I lost it in between three brush strokes. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know about these, these liner brushes. I have a bunch of them in all kinds of different sizes. These are amazing because they hold a lot of paint, so you can really, they can really do nice lines with them. Like these are um, actual liner brushes. I think people do uh, paint like, um, you know, like the pinstripes on cars and stuff like that. I think people do modeling, you know, paint models and stuff. 
Um, I, did, I got these from a craft store, not even from an art store. I was an online craft store. So I think that these are more for painting some kind of model or something, but uh, they work fabulously for doing these long lines and for doing hair especially. They do really, really well for doing hair. So we get a nice long, long stroke. <clears throat> I think they have liner brushes though, now at art stores. Um, do you, uh, after this is done, if you're not watching it live, I will post a few links to some good brushes down below. And any um, art supplies that you buy through links that I post helps to support my channel. So thank you, I really appreciate it, especially in this time. Oh man, I'm gonna cancel all my gigs and everything. I mean, I know everybody's in the same boat, so I'm certainly not trying to cry too hard, but uh, yeah, it's, it's tough out there for the creators right now, for sure. But shout out to all the delivery drivers, like all the people bringing the goods we need, all the people doing the grocery shopping for us and everything. My goodness, like, I mean, really, I actually just posted something about this on my Instagram the other day. Like, now the, uh, you know, some of the underappreciated folks in our society are now the real heroes, you know? We don't usually think too much about the uh, UPS driver or the mailman, or especially the, uh, the clerk at the grocery store or the, you know, clerk at Walmart. We're like, oh, yeah, you know, that's, that job is nothing. It's anyone could do it, whatever. Not going to give it a lot of respect, much less, you know, thought of making sure they get paid well. Until, uh, until something like this happens, and then it's like, please shop for me. So shouting out to all the, uh, the unsung, 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 unsung heroes out there. Unksa, unksa, unsung. There we go. So sometimes, too, when I'm trying to do these long lines, Dipping in a little bit of medium really helps. You don't want to do too much, so I'll like get some medium and kind of wipe it off and then kind of get back in there. But you want thin, thin to go on these lines. So making this area too dark. This needs to be lighter. Some of the really bright highlights. Again, I know this looks like white. But it is not. This is just a light gray. You'll see it when I lay down the white. This is so awesome to get back to this painting. I've actually been working on this painting for a while now. Started this thing back in like January. I was working on it, working on it. I've done like extra layers of all these mushrooms and stuff that are gonna get in there. But uh, unfortunately, if you are following me closely here on YouTube, you'll know that I have had some hard drive issues, yada yada. And so um, along with my computer dying, of course I couldn't access all of my photos and stuff on there and use the screen. I've got my computer set up over here and I've got the screen so I can use it as my reference and without having my computer working, I literally have not been able to use any of my reference photos. Um, so yeah, a little, all the, uh, the COVID craziness definitely got me a bit sidetracked on this piece too, I'm not gonna lie, but um, but it's crazy, sometimes you put a work down. I know I'm not alone in this, I know a lot of artists. You know, we tend to put our work down for whatever reason. Sometimes it can be hard to get back into, so. It was really kind of a spur of the moment for me to decide to do some live painting on this day. I was just like, my goodness, I'm sick of thinking about this painting all the time and feeling dismayed. I finally got a new hard drive on my computer which is nice, but it means like a new hard drive, like none of my old stuff is on there. So 
Uh, so yeah, I'm having to go to my backup files, which of course I have a lot backed up, but not everything. And might be hiring someone to try to scrape through my old one. She's like, dang, at least, uh, at least I can give somebody some business fixing my hard drive, or uh, I should say going through my old one and getting out my files right now, mail it into somebody. That's tough, y'all. That's tough making those lines. I know you can see my pencil lines before, but still, me drawing lines. Oof. Straight lines, and especially when you have to match things. Oh my god. Doing one of things was so easy. Doing two of them is like, yikes. That's right, it should be a big, lovely, juicy pop.
you go. That is one half of a set of glasses, I do believe. Now, of course, we have to put in the lenses. Cannot forget the lenses. And you always want to remember that uh, metal definitely, I mean, everything reflects off of each other, but metal definitely reflects off of itself. So think about that too. Everything kind of, kind of tends to bounce around with metal a bit. And then again, here we go. Pure white. A little pop. like the sound the coin makes in Mario. Ching ching. That's what you want that to feel like, that little light spot. Boop. Almost like pops off the canvas. Or in my case, the linen. Oh, it's so good. So good. I love that little bright moment. It really, it like makes my day when that works out. <laughs> That sounds silly. It would probably sound silly to non-artists, but to artists, like, it took me a minute to figure out how to do, uh, you know, metal and stuff, paint, paint metal that looks believable. This is a learning, learning experience. So this was something I taught myself for sure. For sure. I remember doing this when I was in undergraduate school. And there was a project where I was painting small objects very largely, and I used one of my rings. And I wanted to paint my ring. And um, and yeah, and that with that painting my ring very large, I figured out like basically taught myself how to paint metal. And of course, it's much easier to paint smaller things because it's easier to get dramatic in smaller areas. So painting a big giant ring, it wasn't as dramatic as this, but it was definitely a learning experience. There we go, okay. I'm trying to think, do I want to do, I, let's go ahead and do some, uh, do some glass. So there's not a whole lot of glass in this, there's a little bit of reflection over here. And basically for reflections, you just want to thin it down. So I just have a nice little, you know, kind of a bushier brush, a globule of this um, Galkid medium. And I'm just going to thin it out really well. You want it to be very, very thin. So if you need to, you can even, actually, yeah, I recommend picking up some of your thinner, your paint thinner. I can't hold this up anymore, but... Um, 
After this video is published, I will link in the uh, bio or link in the caption to my better instructional on how to paint shiny surfaces like gold, as well as how to paint um, the lace, uh, what do you call it? It was like a lace veil. And that kind of showed you how I mix these super thin washes. So let's see how that looks. Okay, yeah, it looks good. That looks good. Because you really just want it to be very thin. Ooh, yes. Hiding behind those. Uh, those glasses. Okay, and now dabbing is good. That's the thing. Dabbing is your friend. I'm going to try to do it. Don't dab what you just painted in the good way, though. Dabbing, yes. Dabbing is our friend. Okay. Super thin washes. And if you can't tell, this is why I definitely do this kind of thing always over a very dry painting. I mean, it's been a minute since I've been working on this painting. So, uh, but I do it like this so that I can literally wipe things away I can put paint thinner on my brush and wipe things away and not damage the underpainting at all because that is the last thing I want to do. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that. Okay. Let's see, so right now I'm just using a paper towel, but you can also use... What's the brush I love to use in? Let's use a dry brush. Let's see what a dry brush does. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, this is actually the second time I've done a portrait of someone wearing glasses. Um, the first time was a few years ago. Um, i trying to think. I did pretty much the same thing, but you know, when you only do something once every couple of years, kind of a learning curve to get back into it. And then I do want to kind of make a little bit of a dramatic spot because that is kind of a more of a high drama reflection over there. There we go. Oh my gosh. What? What? Yeah, yeah. I'm liking this. All right, you guys, you guys like hearing me uh, sit here and champion myself while I paint. <laughs> it works. It works. It works. You gotta encourage yourself sometimes, especially when you're doing something a little nerve-wracking and especially when you're doing something nerve-wracking like live it's like don't forget to look graceful oh, you're totally figuring things out okay don't want to overdo it do not want to overdo it that is me i tend to uh get really excited when i'm doing something right and overdo it so i think i'm happy with that i think i'm real happy with that okay on to the next one. Woo! -hoo. Oh my gosh, such a relief when those things turn out. Okay, all right, all right. Let's get back in here. So I'm gonna jump back in with this dark one and get that. The nice thing is too, I mean, when you have one light source, obviously you can kind of match things. So obviously this is gonna be dark like that was dark. And that'll be bright, like that was bright, so. And I love how this, uh, this side of her face shifted within the glasses. I mean, obviously I'm going from a photograph in this, and that this is exactly what it did in the photograph. This is, you know, I'm adding my own artistic touch, but this is definitely exactly what it was doing in the photograph. I love that. I think that's really fun. Just a partial shift.
Don't you just love the look in her eyes anyways? I just love it. Kenna, Kenna she's, she's a, a real zen mama. I love that. This is actually kind of a collaborative piece because normally I take my own photographs. That's my thing is I find my own models. Usually my friends volunteer as models and I have all these amazing friends that are all kinds of different cultural and um, different like shapes and sizes and all kinds of just, I have a wonderful, beautiful variety of uh, interestingly, you know, interestingly themselves friends. I don't know how else to say it. They're unique, wonderful friends. And so usually I take my own photos and have amazing models, but um, I was looking for a portrait and was in a situation where I wasn't able to have a model handy to get one. And I happened to come across Kenna's portrait that she had taken. It's just a selfie on Instagram, but when I saw the way those shadow sh shapes fell in there, I was like, oh my goodness. Like, oh, I need this so much. And she was just blown away. She was like, oh my gosh, of course you can use it. Like, absolutely you can use my photo because I definitely, the few times that I do paint from somebody else, I always get permission first. First, first, first. Like, I'm actually surprised by how many kind of big name artists I've seen over the years that'll literally just be like, I found it on Pinterest or I found it on the internet. And I'm like, that's a photographer or artwork from another person. So I always, always ask by somebody else's, but she was really excited. And uh, I know she's been enjoying watching the process. So shout out to Kenna taking this beautiful beautiful selfie and letting me grow mushrooms in the side of your head and not being offended <laughs> yes. i'm just gonna i still have lots of fun stuff to do with this painting it's getting there though it's gonna be ready for the resin pour before too long okay let's see putting those two of those all right curious about what this is my little eraser brush so I tend to save my old brushes that are all kind of frayed or stubby or whatever and I actually have two of these now that are like this and they were a little short I think they might have been slightly rounded but they were very flat I hope you can see that and um, I just really like like once it got all useless to paint with I realized that it made, it was, it's just stiff enough to kind of move paint around. So I'll never put apply paint with this, but I can add just a touch of, um, oh my God, oh my God, I just touched that. Ah, ah. Um, so I can use a bit of paint thinner on it and use it as like an eraser. See, another reason why I love to, uh... oh, I know what I did, huh? That's the culprit, I've done that before. Look at that. I was literally holding this in that hand. There we go. That's funny. Got me. get for trying to talk and paint at the same time. I think this is what might be like fourth or fifth live painting. What? 
Oh, sorry, I bumped my thing. Somehow it's telling me that I'm running out of batteries even though I'm plugged in, so that's not good. I don't like that. Don't plug your batteries when you're plugged in. How dare you, sir? Alright, well, you guys just stay with me as long as, as long as the, uh, the energies survive. This has this super duper bright moment right here in this corner. And that kind of goes on with this right here. That all, all gets exciting right here. You can see this brush is a little frayed. This is one of my oldies too, and so I like to use it when I'm just trying to like dab on a thing. I think that's about it. I don't want to overdo it. I want to do her rings, but I think my phone is going to die and I don't want to murder the uh, uh, video and not be able to post it or whatever if my phone dies. So I'm going to cut out. But thank you for being here. Yay. Had fun with everybody. I don't know if you can see me, but me and McKenna had a blast.